I'm on TV. <laughs> um, instead, instead what I did is I spent the day, this is true, I spent the day with Max Weinberg and our announcer, Joel Goddard. <laughs> it's true. Yeah, it's nice, right? We're like a little family. Yeah. I can see my wife and kid anytime. Exactly. This is a special. It's nice. We have our little family, and we had our own holiday party. And I had to say, we, 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 have a, we just had a blast. And we took a lot of pictures. Uh, and um, it's pretty interesting. I came in uh, this morning to go to work, and uh, I dropped them off at the uh, developer at the photo shack. Hour later, they were ready. It's amazing. I can't get used to that. The photos are back from our big Christmas party. And I thought, maybe you guys, you want to see these right now? <laughs> it's nice. I'll let you in. I'm going to, these are called uh, Christmas party photos. This will be fun, and I'll show you these. That song sucked, all right. Uh, now these really came out uh, pretty well, and they pretty much show everything that happened. Uh, Joel hosted the party this year at his swanky Manhattan apartment right there. Pretty nice. Here's Joel showing off his really cool place. I was the first guest to show up. I was pretty excited. And uh, I lied to Joel and told him his apartment looked great. Joel said, really? And I said, no. Joel then said, well, maybe someone should give me a raise. I stared back at him with frosty silence. <laughs> then Joel said, or I could take a cut and pay. Then we were best buddies again. <laughs> I then asked Joel to give me a tour of his place. He first showed me his self-confidence mirror. I asked Joel how a mirror could give him self-confidence. He said, it's easy, just pour cocaine all over it. <laughs> I did not approve. Then, then Joel showed me Asian Corner, where he keeps a collage of his favorite Asian male prostitutes. <laughs> then he showed me his bathroom. I said, I don't think that's a bathroom. Bathrooms have toilets. Joel said, toilets are for squares, see? And, uh... <laughs> By the way, uh... Joel doesn't have genitalia. Um... <laughs> Couldn't we have fixed that? I don't know. Anyway, I decided to move things along by giving Joel a present. Joel opened it and saw the lovely sweater I'd given him. He then noticed it was the same sweater he'd given me the year before. I said, it is? Then he held it in my face and said, I knit it myself. <laughs> then Max burst through the door. <laughs> Max looked out of breath and panicked. Then Max slammed the door shut and gestured for everyone to be quiet. But then the door got kicked open by Max's wife. <laughs> she said, I just found your $4,000 phone sex bill. <laughs> she threw the bill at Max and said, our marriage is officially over. Then she tried to French kiss me. But uh, Joel kissed her instead. <laughs> she, uh, she then kicked Max in the groin and left wishing us all a happy holiday. Joel then got in Max's face and said, having trouble at home? Max said, shut up, Joel. Joel then said, your wife's a real good kisser. Max then strangled Joel. <laughs> I broke it up and said, let's just enjoy our Christmas party. God, I look weird there, all right. Max, Max said, who cares about Christmas? I'm Jewish. Then Max turned to Joel and said, do you have eight Hanukkah gifts for me? Joel said, no, but I have two. <laughs> I told Max to forget about his troubles and to focus on having fun at the party. Joel suggested we open our stockings. Max got a pair of drumsticks. <laughs> and mine was filled with sunblock. I then asked Joel why his tree wasn't decorated. 
He said it was because all of his lights and ornaments were tangled together in a giant ball. <laughs> then he said, hey, I bet if we plug this mess in, it will look pretty cool. But unfortunately, the whole thing burst into flames. <laughs> Max quickly threw water on Joel, which gave Joel a horrific shock. <laughs> Joel recovered quickly, though, and suggested I try his homemade three-step eggnog. First, I had to eat a raw egg. <laughs> then I had to swallow a cup of salt. <laughs> and then I had to chase it down with a pint of rum. <laughs> now, uh, now, I thought it tasted great, so I had two more. I was, uh, I was feeling pretty good at that point. <laughs> then there was a knock at the door. Huh? It was Glenn Campbell. He asked to borrow some Christmas wrapping paper. I said, I hope you're going to use it to cover your face. <laughs> then Glenn Campbell snapped my arm off. <laughs> then he ran across the room and shaved the word ass into Max's head <laughs> and jumped into Joel's floor toilet. <laughs> it was the best Christmas ever. Man. That was a good time. That was a good time. That was sweet. All right, everybody, we'll take a little break. When we come back, Ian McKellen's here. Stick around. <laughs> Uh-uh. Uh-uh.